Let's peel back the curtain a little bit on the skincare industry, and I want to show you an example of how you could be paying anywhere from $10 to $170 for the same exact product, depending on the story of that particular product. Now, in every industry, there's something called white label or private labeling. And that means someone like me could go in and start a skincare brand. And they have these companies that basically have these products that are sitting on shelves that are pre-formulated. And they can go ahead and say, tell me what label you want on this product. And then all of a sudden, poof, you have a skincare brand. Now, what I would do is I would create the story, I would create the marketing, and I would create the pricing. So I started looking at this product, and I started looking at this product because they have this marine algae, which I'm particularly interested in. And basically, if you take a look at this product, they say you should be pricing this product anywhere from $17 to $28, and that would be a fair price according to what their listings are. Now I can buy this product and I can put my label on it for anywhere between $5 and $7 a unit, and then basically it would be my product with my name on it. So this company buys it, labels it, and renames it the Protein Lip Serum for $10. This company buys it, relabels it. $18, $19 on sale actually. The Fix carries this particular product, prices it for $24. With Surfer Girl has a really pretty blue one. They probably paid a little bit of extra for that um, label and sells it for $37. You know we're starting to give out some side eyes now, right? We have $78 for the Protein Lip Serum here. This company on sale for $118, really? Two side eyes. I'm going to dish out two side eyes for this one. And this company right here? $169, you get the super size side eye. I'm gonna put a really big side eye here because this is crazy. This cream that was bought for five to $7, whatever story they decided to weave, they feel like that made it worth it to our consumers for $169. Stop, just stop. So pop quiz, what are our lessons learned here? I want my followers to be the smartest skincare and makeup consumers on this app, possibly in the world. Number one, more expensive is not always better. Number two, be fearless about does it work or doesn't it? Don't believe the claims and be fearless about whether or not the ingredients support the claims. Period. The end. Understand that there is more bullshit than not on this app. So figure out where you can get trusted sources, where you can really educate yourself or do your own research so that you are buying smart. I hope this is helpful and maybe you learned a thing or two. See you soon.